All right, guys. Guys, don't mind my haircut. <laughs> I'm shaking. I'm, I'm actually shaking. I told myself I'm not gonna get an R8 because I'm getting a business, but there's this R8 playing. It was a gated manual V8 in black. It's the exact color I would want it to be, and it's a gated manual. I know it's a V8, but I told myself, like, Nor, you can't afford to go with a V10 and now spending all your money on a business, 60, 70 grand, it's too much money. I mean, to spend on a car, you wanna start a business, but I, I decided to bid on it, and we got an Audi R8 gated manual for 25,000, what? 25,000 for a gated manual R8? Like, are you kidding me? 25, I, I can't even speak, I can't even. Guys, that is that is Honda Civic money that I just got for this, for, oh my God. And it's a run and drive insurance vehicle, pure sale. Um, it has, I think, ev almost everything to get that thing on the road. Like, oh my, guys, I'm shaking, I'm shaking. Cause, if, I got, oh my God, this is cheaper than we would go. Oh, I can't even speak. Oh my God, there's no way. I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna call my friends real quick. I'm shaking right now. I'm shaking, dude. I'm shaking, bro. I'm shaking. Yeah, I'm shaking. Yeah, I'm shaking, bro. <laughs> 20, 26 after fees. 26 after fees. But I got an Audi R8 for twenty six thousand dollars gated manual, bro. Bro, I can't. I can't breathe, dude. I can't breathe. All right, guys, just got the cashier's check to my Audi R8. Oh my God, I cannot believe we got it for that cheap. That's insane. I need to put on my seatbelt. Safety first, guys. Guys, we got the check right here. Just got out of a Bank of America. And uh, long story short, I just, I can't believe it. I'm absolutely speechless. I'm sorry if I'm all over the place and I'm not really making much sense, but it's just because like for this kind of money, I mean, it's insane. It's insane. It's it's. I think it happened for a reason. God bless me, and I'm really hoping. Obviously, when we pick it up, it's all gravy in the navy. Um, there is a few things that's a little concerning with the photos, a little concerning with the mileage, and I'm hoping that's not going to really affect the value of the car. But ultimately, uh, an R8 that's fully assembled, not water damaged, in LA, it's in California, and you know, supposedly a run and drive vehicle from an insurance, you, you really can't lose, and that's why I'm overly excited for it. I mean, I've seen. R8s go for cheaper with water damage and a bunch of other issues. Uh, but this one supposedly just needs a little front end repair and bada bing bada bang. Well, anywho, I mean, we, we, we want it, we want it, we have to pay for it. So let's head down to Copart, pay for it. So tomorrow we can go ahead and pick her up. Don't mind my brand new haircut. <laughs> I'm trying something new. But basically, we got all the paperwork that we need. I just paid Copart for the car, which basically means we can go pick up the car right now. So I'm thinking I might even head out tonight, wake up tomorrow morning, as soon as they open, we get our car. I think I'm, I'd think i rather do that, honestly, than drive tomorrow and then spend the night with the car on the trailer. It's just kind of like, I might not feel comfortable leaving my car on the trailer in the middle of the night somewhere while I sleep. So uh, I'd rather go empty trailer, truck, spend the night, wake up the next morning, get the car, head straight home. So I think that's the plan. Uh, so without further ado, I'll come back to you guys when I'm actually heading out. So before heading out, I wanted to get the truck fully ready. So we got the thing fully gassed up. I decided to also top it off with some oil, bring some extra oil, and at the same time, pump up all the trailer tires and the truck tires to make sure we are in good shape so nothing bad happens on this trip. And of course, we have to also fuel ourselves. So we got some breakfast before our journey, and honestly, it was really, really, really good. Without further do we have a long seven hour drive all right guys just found some parking in the back of this hotel i was worried they're not gonna have any parking but thankfully they do got parking let's go ahead get some shut eyes so tomorrow morning we'll be picking up our first audi r8 i am super stoked and also super tired my god all right, guys, just made it to our room. I am so tired, and I definitely look like I have an egghead with this haircut, but don't mind that. Uh, oh my God, guys, tomorrow morning, hopefully I'm gonna be picking up my gated manual <laughs> for a steal of a deal. Oh my God, I honestly couldn't sleep. I couldn't spend any nights at my place. I was like, you know what? As soon as we won that car, I paid for it. I went to the bank, got the check, went to Copar, paid for it, and I went straight here, literally from, like same day. Um, so we won the car earlier today. I'm going to try to pick it up tomorrow morning as soon as uh, Copart opens. And then we're going to take that bad boy back home. Theoretically, it should be able to drive on the trailer. So you run and drive. Um, I'm really hoping everything's legit on this car because for the money that we got it for, I'm kind of skeptical on this. There must be something wrong with this car. Um, but hopefully, hopefully there's nothing wrong. Um, hopefully that's just my mind playing with me. And hopefully we just got a crazy good deal. But anyways, 
we got some in and out. We're gonna go ahead and chow down real quick. Shout out to my brother for coming with me and I'll cut back to you guys tomorrow morning. All right, guys, good morning. Just woke up. Yes, I'm still wearing the same shirt. Didn't really pack another uh, pretty much sweatshirt, but uh, any hoozles, um, it's 7 a.m. My car pickup's at 10, so I rescheduled it for nine. I can't wait that long. <laughs> Let's go get some breakfast downstairs so I can go pick this oh, already up. So we just showed up to Copart. There is a 76 minute wait time. Uh, I don't really know why our appointment is at nine. It's about five minutes from nine, but uh, I guess it is what it is. We'll wait an hour, wait two hours. I don't really care. I just want my car. I'm just trying to get in contact with one of them to hope that they can actually drive the car out uh, because the way they're forklifting it, I really don't want them to do that to the R8. <laughs> you okay? Oh, so I need to get jumped, he said. Bro, we got both headlights here. We also have a front bumper. And dude, like, there's no, I thought the current airbags deployed. The current airbags didn't deploy. Nice. Just remove this for some aftermarket wiring. Wait, what's going on over here, though? Bro! <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> oh, it feels so good. Yeah, I bet it feels, my childhood. I bet that feels Bro, like the best so manual good. in the world. Ah! Damn, I wish I bought my jumper, dude. Dude, carbon package. Is carbon package? Carbon what do you mean? package, bro. So we check if it's bro, a super truck. the carbon package. All right, guys. I'm sorry to show you guys actually loading this car onto the trailer. The guy that dropped it off was honestly not really cooperating with us. He literally pulled it outside, let it die, and said, hey, you need to figure it out. Uh, but long story short, uh, basically, we do need a hood. Uh, the door, unfortunately, got a little bit scratched up because of the hood, but the door is perfectly good. Um, guys, this thing has, I believe, the big brake kit. These are some super nice wheels, Michelin tires. The front end damage is actually so, so, so minor. Um, all the coolers are perfectly good. There's no lights on the dash. The alignment's perfect. I mean, Honestly, I don't really know what's going on. That is the only damage right over here. No, there's really no damage on this section whatsoever. No damage to either side of this car. You guys can see all the plastics here are A-OK. -okay. I honestly, I'm just in utter awe. It actually even includes um, the box right in here that's not cracked, not damaged. Absolutely perfect. It actually included also the front bumper that was not in the auction photo. So we have all the brackets and pieces and everything we need once we actually get a bare bumper, which is so, so, so sick. And check out that rear, guys. <laughs> oh my Lord. Thanks. <laughs> I'm so happy. I just got it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty good. Just that? Huh? Just that? Uh, what do you mean? The, the damage? That's it, yeah, in the hood. No way. Swear. <laughs> <laughs> I came all the way from Sacramento. I was like... My friend. <laughs> <laughs> hey, congrats. Thank you, thank, thank you. Congrats. Yeah, that was a super cool guy. But uh, guys, we also have the carbon package. That was not in the photos. I did not expect to see this dude. <laughs> uh, what was it? I, so I have a question for you guys. If you guys can comment down below. Because we saw it was like estimated value 90 instead of 70. Yeah, so it's supposed to be retail value 70. But for some reason, this car, the insurance paid about 90. Which means there must be something on this car that, uh, I mean, the exhaust sounded really good. I don't know if it's yeah. a exhaust. I'll have to show you guys that in a little bit. But again, we have the carbon package here. Um, again, the rear end is absolutely perfect. We got the carbon side blades. Of course, we got the manual gearbox, the gated manual, my dream transmission. We have the carbon interior package right there, right here. It literally has a full carbon package. It also has a police radar in there as well. And the interior is absolutely mint. <laughs> I'm just so, so, so stoked. At this point, guys, I actually found someone locally selling a hood. Now, I know this hood may be safe but because I'm trying to restore this to absolute perfection you guys know my standards I'm gonna go ahead and try to get a new hood and then this hood um, I might either toss it or put it up for whatever someone wants to offer for it because I know people be rebuilding these hoods they're like five grand so people typically rebuild these hoods for me honestly I found one locally for a thousand he had it for four years and uh, he's like bro I don't need it it's a thousand bucks exact same color so <laughs> I can't be much happier than that and also I'm not gonna lie guys it actually comes with both headlights and of all the pieces in the front end that's actually missing like saying I'm so excited excited is an understatement i'm just people how do you think this thing looks no i, I can't believe like literally the price and, and twenty four thousand, bro I'm, bro bust oh bro it's, it's yeah me and the say alhamdulillah that, that's insane that is crazy my dream car and i got it for a killer deal i'm gonna daily this thing bro, bro I, can't stop, I'm a, I can't stop looking at the engine bay i know I mean, bro, just look at it, is, carbon it's just gorgeous guys again we'll show you more about this hopefully when we get home i have my whole 
I have my wife waiting on me. I have my friends waiting on me. Everyone wants to see this. I got my brother with me. Shout out to him for actually helping me. And I'm sorry for yelling at you. I get really upset sometimes. It's stressful time. It is stressful, dude. And guys, the guy that was helping us load up this thing, he was so rude, bro. Like he literally, I told him, hey, can you drive this thing out instead of towing it? He's like, I'm not, I, I prefer to tow it. I mean, I prefer to forklift it. Yeah. I do Ferraris and everything. Like, you think I can't do it? He was and flexing was, on it. Yeah, I was like, I'm not saying you can't do it. I just want you to drive my car out. And he was giving me like this whole fuss. It's like, as if it's personal. I was like, can you just drive? It's a running drive. Can you please just drive it out? And then he drove it out and then he stalled it on purpose. And then he's like, oh, you need to jump it. And uh, you need to cut the keys off. And, and he just left. He even like closed the hood on us. So I'm like, he was just, bro, he was so rude. It was super, super, super stressful over this. We actually drove the R8 over here. And that's why I actually got to actually drive this thing. Guys, it drives perfectly. Um, and we, we got to load it up over here where there's no one else around us in peace at the same time. Anyways, guys, super stoked, super excited. Can't wait to get this thing home. Can't wait to honestly start working on it. Um, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get all the ramps loaded up, get this thing strapped down and head out and possibly get this hood. Because guys, if we can get a color match hood for a thousand, in. I mean, we're already saving big bucks on this, guys. Guys, I actually just stopped because I was looking on my phone to see if anyone was selling anything locally and we just found a matched black hood for a thousand dollars. This on eBay is about five thousand dollars. We got it for a thousand dollars. What a budget build. <laughs> I'm just super stoked. Now we just need to get home so we can start assembling this beast. And as smooth as things were actually going, unfortunately, uh, things took a turn. Uh, our Nissan Titan is knocking. We're about 200 miles from the house. And I just think we just blew a motor, guys. Wow. All right, guys, so we have low oil pressure. We're literally 300 miles from home. It was going, it was going so well. It was going so well, guys. Um, I'm low-key super stressed out because we are 300 miles from home and I don't really know how to supposed to get home like this. So I did have oil, so I topped it off with some oil. I'm hoping that's gonna make a difference, but um, I'm not gonna lie. This is one of those situations that you don't wanna like ever think about. And unfortunately, I think we're in it, so. I'll keep you guys posted, but I, I, I'm not optimistic. I know you guys can barely see me. Small little update, AAA. They canceled five tows with us. Uh, talked to the supervisor, they couldn't do anything. We're literally on the side of the freeway for three hours. It's very busy. And uh, middle of the night, pitch black. It's looking good, guys, looking good. All right, guys, we got our flashlight right here. Um, we've been, it's, I don't know what time, but what time is it? 11.30, guys, we've been here since five. On the side of the road, it's freezing. I don't know if you guys can see the windshield. Uh, Erlon's gonna be coming to the rescue in our F30. He went to my house, picked up all the gear we need, and he's gonna try to help us get to that city in front of us. God bless his soul. He's even gonna spend the night out here with us. I mean, this is again why I love Erlon. So hopefully he's gonna be here any minute. He's gonna pull up right in front of us, and we're gonna try to get to work and hopefully try to get this truck back home. Guys, Erlon coming to the rescue, bro. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm shaking, <laughs> All right, guys, we just got inside Denny's. We got the truck and trailer here. The F30 right there, like, sticking like a champ. Bro, shout out to a lot. He drove all the way from Sack. We got me and my brother right here. Guys, legitimately, we were sitting out on the side of the freeway. It's, what, 30 degrees right now? Yeah. 30 degrees. It was freezing cold. Me and my brother were hallucinating. <laughs> Triple A didn't shut up. It was, like, seven hours on the side of the road. I mean, what's, why are you paying for Triple A if they're not going to show up? We even asked them for a jump. They wouldn't help. Long story short, we got here. Shout out to Erlon. We bought the jumper. We literally... Uh, we did some Arab style stuff to actually get here, but we got here. So thank the Lord. They're cool at the diner. So right here at Denny's, about to get some dinner. I think he's trying to help us jump it. <laughs> you can see that cat. All right, guys, it is the morning. We got the R8, it is still here. <laughs> we got our hood, it is still here. Thank the Lord. Um, let's see if our stuff is still in the car and our headlights still in the car. So very happy. Um, at this point, guys, we're gonna try to go rent a U-Haul trailer or a truck and at least try to take this back home. And then uh, we'll keep figure out this situation, uh, you know, ourselves. Because towing this truck at this point, I really don't care what happens to it. I just care about my trailer and my R8. Um, this truck, I think at this point, the engine is blown. It is an unfortunate situation that I actually think that I'll, I'm like 90% sure we lost the motor because of the sound it's giving. Um, and we're, we're trying to start it. We're trying to crank her, putting a full power. And we got so lucky, honestly, that we got off the freeway because 
Uh, that when I was driving it here, it was it was running so 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 rough, and then once I actually pulled it up over here, it pretty much almost shut off. So, yeah. Again, long story short, as long as we can get the R8 home, <laughs> we will we will do whatever it takes to get the check off. It's not a big deal. <laughs> so we ended up taking the F30 to Walmart just to get some goodies, some snacks, some equipment, things like that we need, so we can actually get this U-Haul, get our R8, get our trailer back home safe and sound. As for the truck. Um, honestly, we, we took a couple days to get this thing home. It wasn't a big deal. I mean, no one's going to be able to steal this thing. It's not going anywhere. But the R8, we're getting it home. All right, y'all. Just copped a new whip. <laughs> we got ourselves a big-ass truck. But uh, it is what it is. This is what we need to get us home. At least the R8 home. I really couldn't care less about the truck. And I say that a million times over because it let us down. We almost died because of that truck. Long story short, this is what we need, guys. Um, this is the two-inch ball. We're going to be able to put on our... Do you see how the distance, bro? I think ours will clear. You know what I mean? Yeah, that is true. So I, anyway, long story short, this is what we need. Um, this is the truck we're gonna get. We have about 300 miles to get home. So uh, wish us luck, guys. my vibing water little eta um triple a finally called us and uh because i caught a couple of tow trucks even called my guy he said it cost me about like almost a g to get it towed back home so we're gonna try to get triple a because of the, how much they screwed me over last night i'm gonna try to get as much toes with them as possible back to my place and then you know pay 200 bucks to get it back to my place i'm not really the kind of, i'm not a cheap person um uh, but like i don't like how they left me on the side of the road for eight hours last night if Roland didn't come through honestly i would have been who knows what would have happened in the middle of the night on the side of the freeway so it's just very unprofessional and uh long story short i have my two legal toes with them so i'm gonna get my toes i'm gonna get my money's worth and uh i might even cancel after that we'll see because <laughs> i'm not happy with what happened last night and what's the point of AAA service if you only need you, they only pretty much use it when you're in the city it doesn't make any sense long story short triple is coming hopefully it works out guys finally chuck is here saying goodbye to the titan i mean she did as good i'm not gonna lie months later and I'm happy to say the RA did make it home the truck unfortunately did not um, but guys guys <laughs> we are ready to get started on this this is an absolute gym I cannot believe it's sitting right here next to our beautiful e91 m3 I have my two dream projects right over here and it's just looking so good side by side if you guys are excited to see the content on this bad boy make sure to smash that like button but this has been an all-time dream something I've been working towards for like the past honestly since 2014 I had something posted on my YouTube channel actually that's one of the reasons I started my YouTube channel for that car is sitting right there that exact car to be specific I wanted a black V8 so I can daily drive it and then I wanted a gated manual carbon package interior carbon package exterior carbon package or the carbon fiber blades literally the dream spec and I got it for the Sabre BMW price which feels so good um, I honestly cannot just be more stoked this is insane and I cannot wait to start breaking it down getting this thing on the road and uh, honestly I just have you guys to thank but uh, before we actually conclude this video I do want to give a couple minutes or at least one minute to the Nissan Titan rip Nissan Titan we've done so many toes with that thing it has been such a troop but we bought so many builds completed so many flips with that nissan titan so let's just give one minute of peace for the nissan titan 